What is going on everybody? Today I will be ranking every Power 5 team and Notre Dame by their odds of winning a national championship within the next 5 years. I have 6 different categories for this video. The first category is for the top contenders. These are teams that are very likely to win a national championship within the next 5 years. The second category is for the I wouldn't be surprised teams. These are teams that could definitely make a run for a national championship within the next 5 years and I wouldn't be surprised if they ended up winning one. The third category is for the Dark Horse Contenders. These are teams that should definitely be taken seriously, and they could surprise a lot of people by winning a national championship within the next five years. The fourth category is for the I Would Be Surprised teams. These are teams with potential, and they could be a playoff team for sure, but I would genuinely be shocked if they won a national championship within the next five years. The fifth category is for the teams that would need a miracle. These are teams that would have to have a 2022 TCU-like run, but they also should be solid teams and you never know what can happen in college football. And the final category is for the teams that have absolutely no chance of winning a national championship within the next five years. I will be going through every single Power 5 team in alphabetical order, and let's start off this video with Alabama. And I am putting Alabama in the I wouldn't be surprised category. I understand that Nick Saban retired, but this is still an Alabama team loaded with five-star talent and Kalen DeBoer led a Washington team with three stars to a national championship appearance last season. So I really wouldn't be surprised if Kalen DeBoer led Alabama to a national championship within the next five years. The next team is Arizona, and I am putting them in the I would be surprised category. Arizona is going to be a Big 12 championship contender in my eyes, and maybe they make a run for the playoffs because the offense is going to be very explosive with Fafita and McMillan. But I would definitely be surprised if they won a national championship because they did lose the head coach. And I don't think they have a deep enough roster to compete with the best teams in college football. The next team is Arizona State and I have them in the no chance category. I think Arizona State has potential to turn it around and maybe make a bowl game with Kenny Dillingham at head coach. He recruits pretty well, but this is one of the worst teams in the Power 5 right now. And there is absolutely no path to a national championship for Arizona State anytime soon. And honestly, they would be lucky to make a bowl game. The next team is Arkansas, and I have them in the they would need a miracle category. It's hard to put an SEC team in the no chance category, because most teams in the SEC recruit very well, and they could make a run at any point. But Arkansas really has a lot to clean up after a 4-8 and season. They lost their quarterback KJ Jefferson, and they have a coach in the hot seat, so they would really need a miracle to get anywhere near a national championship. The next team is Auburn, and I have them near the top of the I would be surprised category. I wouldn't be surprised if Auburn was a playoff team within the next five years. Hugh Freeze recruits at a top 10 level, and they are really trending up in my opinion. They have many true freshman wideouts who are going to be studs in the future, and they have a very solid defense. And in another season or two, Auburn could be a very competitive team in the SEC. I still have them in the I would be surprised category because they still have some question marks, but I think they have a bright future moving forward. The next team is Baylor and I have them in the no chance category. They are one of the worst power 5 teams and they have the head coach in the hot seat so they have no chance. The next team is Boston College and I have them in the no chance category. They have been one of the worst power 5 teams for a while. They have a solid quarterback and they could make a bowl game in 2024 but Boston College isn't coming anywhere near a national title in football. The next team is BYU and I also have them in the no chance category. They do not do a good job at recruiting or using the transfer portal. They will have their solid seasons here and there, but they are a very average program, so BYU has no chance. The next team is California, and I have California at the top of the no chance category. I think California is a pretty underrated team heading forward. They will have a big home field advantage in the ACC. And I know Justin Wilcox gets a lot of criticism, but he has used the transfer portal very well recently. But I still don't see a team like California making it anywhere near a national championship, so they have no chance. The next team is Cincinnati, and I also have them in the no chance category. They have a lot of work to do if they want to become a top program in the Big 12, and they were one of the worst teams in the Power 5 last season, so they have no chance. The next team is Clemson, and I have them in the I would be surprised category. I've talked down about Clemson on this channel recently, and I think Dabo Sweeney has way too many lame excuses for not using the transfer portal. But they will still be a conference title contender and they have a very good defense. Dabo Sweeney has won national championships before and I can't put them any lower than the I would be surprised category. The next team is Colorado and I have them in the they would need a miracle category. 
I'm not even sure if Deion Sanders is staying at Colorado for another five years, let's be honest. But if he does stay, he is going to attract a lot of talent just because of his big name and personality. And maybe Deion Sanders pulls it together and decides to focus more on recruiting. I can't put Colorado in the no chance category, but they would really need a miracle to come anywhere near a national title. The next team is Duke, and I have them in the they would need a miracle category. And I understand Duke football has been irrelevant, but lately they have kind of been a little bit more relevant. And I think this team has potential moving forward with head coach Manny Diaz. And they also have a solid defense and a quarterback with a lot of potential who is Malik Murphy. They should be a solid team within the next five years, but they would still need a miracle to come anywhere near a national title. The next team is Florida, and I have them in the they would need a miracle category. I have them more towards the top of the category because they do have a lot of young talent, including a five-star quarterback in DJ Lagway. But they have a head coach in the hot seat, and they have a lot of questions. So I definitely can't put them anywhere higher than they would need a miracle category. The next team is Florida State, and I have them in the I wouldn't be surprised category. And I think Mike Novell is one of the best coaches in college football. And this is a team that would have probably made the playoffs in 2023 if Jordan Travis did not get hurt. So I wouldn't be surprised at all if Florida State won a national championship within the next five years. Because I truly believe Mike Novell is building something special over there at Florida State. The next team is Georgia and I have them in the top contenders category. I think Georgia is a team that is destined to win another national championship with Kirby Smart. Kirby Smart is the best head coach in college football. I don't think anybody can deny that. And this is a team that could realistically win a national title as soon as next season. They have an elite defense and arguably the best quarterback in college football, Carson Beck. So I definitely have Georgia in the top contenders category. The next team is Georgia Tech and I have them in the they would need a miracle category. Georgia Tech upgraded their coaching staff this offseason and Haynes King is a pretty solid quarterback for Georgia Tech. They should be a very solid team within the next five years but they would definitely need a miracle to win a national title. The next team is Houston, and I have them in the no chance category. Similar to BYU and Cincinnati, they still have to adapt to Big 12 football, and they were not that good last season. So I definitely have Houston in the no chance category. The next team is Illinois, and I have them in the no chance category. Illinois has a lot to clean up on offense, and I don't see them becoming one of the top teams in the Big 10 anytime soon. There's no way Illinois will win a national championship within the next five years. So I have them in the no chance category. The next team is Indiana and I also have them in the no chance category. I do think Kurt Signetti was a solid hire at head coach and he has completely overhauled the roster by bringing in 29 transfers. This could be a team that makes a bowl game, but if we are talking national championships then they have no chance. The next team is Iowa and I have them in the they would need a miracle category. As long as Kirk Ferentz remains the head coach, I highly doubt this team is even coming close to the playoffs. The offense has been very bad the last couple of seasons, but they do have a very good defense and they just made a Big Ten championship last season, so I can't put them any lower on my rankings. The next team is Iowa State, and I also have them in the they would need a miracle category. They do return a lot of young talent, and they actually might be a sleeper to win the Big 12, but I highly doubt they will come anywhere near a national championship within the next five years. The next team is Kansas, and I have them near the top of the they would need a miracle category. And maybe Jalen Daniels in that offense goes crazy and has a TCU-like run, but Kansas has their concerns on defense. And I just do not see them making a run for a national championship anytime soon. So I have them in the they would need a miracle category. But this team may be a sleeper just like Iowa State to win the Big 12 because of quarterback Jalen Daniels. The next team is Kansas State and I have them in the I would be surprised category. Kansas State is a team that could definitely make the playoffs within the next five years. But I don't know if they have the talent to make a run for a natty. They have been consistently good with head coach Chris Kleiman, and the defense returns 80% of the production from last year. They also have a very talented quarterback in Avery Johnson, and they added speed in the backfield with running back Dylan Edwards. I do think this is a very good team, but I would definitely be surprised if they won a national title within the next five years. The next team is Kentucky, and I have them in the they would need a miracle category. Mark Stoops is a solid head coach but I don't see this team winning a national championship with the competition in the SEC. Brock Vandergriff is an interesting transfer portal quarterback, so we'll see how good Kentucky can be in 2024, but they would definitely need a miracle to win a national championship. The next team is Louisville, and I have them in the I would be surprised category. Louisville has some questions on the offensive side of the ball, but their defense is going to be one of the ACC's best, and they upgraded their roster through the transfer portal. I would definitely be surprised if Louisville won a national championship, 
but they have a solid head coach and a solid roster, and five years is a long time, so you never know. The next team is LSU, and I have them in the I wouldn't be surprised category. I don't think LSU has the defense to be a national title contender next season, but five years is a long time, and Brian Kelly is one of the top coaches in college football. And LSU is one of those teams that can always break out at any point. They did back in 2019 when they won the national championship. I have my questions with this LSU team, but I wouldn't be surprised at all if they won a natty within the next five years. The next team is Maryland, and I have them in the they would need a miracle category. There are a lot of average teams in the Big Ten, and I don't even see Maryland making the playoffs within the next five years. Maryland has not won double-digit games in over 20 years, so they would need a miracle to win a natty. The next team is Miami, and I have them at the top of the dark horse contenders category. I don't understand all the hate Mario Cristobal and Miami get. Success doesn't happen overnight. And Mario Cristobal has the Hurricanes trending up in every way imaginable. Their stats, record, and recruiting rankings all improved in 2023. And this is a team that is completely stacked with talent moving forward. They had an incredible spring bringing in players like Damian Martinez and Tyler Barron. Five years is a long time, and I expect Miami to keep improving every year. And who knows what their ceiling is, because they recruit at a top five level. So I do have them in the dark horse contenders category, and they are close to being in the I wouldn't be surprised category. The next team is Michigan, and I have them in the I wouldn't be surprised category. This is a team that just won a national championship, and they return a lot more talent on defense than people may realize. They return their two big boys up front on the defensive line, Mason Graham and Kenneth Grant, and they also return Will Johnson, who is one of the best cornerbacks in the country. This was a very deep roster last year, and Donovan Edwards will be a beast at running back. I think Sharon Moore has potential to be a solid leader at head coach. And I definitely wouldn't be surprised if Michigan won a natty within the next five years. The next team is Michigan State, and I have them in the they would need a miracle category. I think Jonathan Smith is one of the more underrated head coaches in college football, and I wouldn't be surprised if he turned this Michigan State team around quicker than people expect. Aiden Childs is a young quarterback with a lot of potential, and they have a lot of young talent returning on this team. So it is not a 0% chance, but they would definitely need a miracle. The next team is Minnesota, and I have them in the no chance category. Max Brosmer is an underrated quarterback addition, and maybe Minnesota makes a bowl game in 2024, but Minnesota has been a very average program for a while now. They've had some solid seasons here and there. They actually won nine games in 2021 and 2022, but they went six and seven in 2023, and I don't think they have any chance at winning a natty within the next five years. The next team is Mississippi State, and I have them in the they would need a miracle category. They are a team in rebuild mode, but I also think Jeff Levy was a solid hire at head coach, and I think they have potential to improve in the next five years. They are located pretty well for landing recruits being in the SEC, but they would definitely need a miracle to win a national championship. The next team is Missouri, and I have them in the dark horse contenders category. They are a team that could shock a lot of people even as soon as next season. They have an easy schedule. The offense is going to be electric with Brady Cook in that receiving core, and the defense is also solid. If there was any year for them to win a natty, it would be this upcoming season. Eli Drinkwitz is a solid head coach, and they are definitely a dark horse to win a natty within the next five years. The next team is NC State, and I have them in the I would be surprised category. I would be surprised if they won a natty. But I also think NC State might be one of the most slept on teams in college football heading into next season. They struggled at quarterback last season, and they still won 9 games. But they add Grayson McCall, who is a very underrated addition at quarterback, and he has a lot of weapons on the offensive side to work with. This is a legit ACC title contender in my eyes. I would definitely be surprised if they did win a natty within the next 5 years, because they have only won double digit games once in school history. But NC State basketball is on the rise, so NC State football winning a natty within the next 5 years would surprise me, but it's definitely not impossible. The next team is Nebraska, and I have them in the I would be surprised category. Maybe they belong in the no chance category because they haven't made a bowl game since 2016, and they just seem like a cursed program as of lately, but I really believe in head coach Matt Rule. He has an incredible track record, and this Nebraska team has a lot of positives moving forward. They have a five-star freshman quarterback and a bunch of talent returning. They have one of the best defensive coordinators in the country, and they also have a very solid defense. So if they stay healthy next season, then they are a lock to make a bowl game in my eyes. But if we're talking a national championship within the next five years, then I would definitely be surprised. 
The next team is North Carolina, and I have them in the no chance category. Mac Brown is way past his prime and almost ready to retire, so there's absolutely no chance North Carolina wins the national title, especially after losing Drake May and all that talent from last season. The next team is Northwestern, and I also have them in the no chance category. They were pretty solid last season, and they won eight games, which was surprising, but Northwestern hardly has any talent, and they are always near the bottom of the Power 5 for recruiting and transfer portal rankings. So there's absolutely no way a team with the resources like Northwestern wins a national title. The next team is Notre Dame, and I have them in the I wouldn't be surprised category. And I almost put them in the dark horse contenders, but the more I thought about it, the more I realized Notre Dame is going to be in the hunt every year as long as they remain an independent school. And they will be making the playoffs a lot, which sets them up perfectly. I also think head coach Marcus Freeman has potential to grow, and the coaching staff for Notre Dame is underrated right now. They possibly have the best secondary in the country returning. They just have to figure it out on the offensive side of the ball. But five years is a long time, and head coach Marcus Freeman still has a lot to prove. So I honestly wouldn't be surprised if Notre Dame won a national championship within the next five years. The next team is Ohio State, and I have them in the top contenders category. It's only a matter of time until Ryan Day and Ohio State win a national championship. They've been close many times. They were a field goal away from beating Georgia in 2022. They have had a lot of bumps on the road, especially against Michigan, but Jim Harbaugh is now gone, and Ryan Day completely stacked up this roster and coaches staff even more this offseason. Caleb Downs is one of the best players in college football, period, and he's a big addition in an already loaded secondary. And Chip Kelly is one of the greatest college football offensive minds ever, and he is now the play caller. So they are definitely a top contender to win a national championship within the next five years. The next team is Oklahoma, and I have them in the dark horse contenders category. Brent Venables is a great defensive-minded head coach, but this Oklahoma offense also has a five-star quarterback in Jackson Arnold. I don't know exactly how good Oklahoma will be in year one in the SEC. They have some questions and they face a gauntlet of a schedule, but Brent Venables has this team trending up and they recruit at a high level. And I would definitely consider them a dark horse to win a national championship within the next five years. The next team is Oklahoma State and I have them in the I would be surprised category. Mike Gundy has been the head coach for Oklahoma State for a while now, and he has led them to multiple double-digit win seasons. Ollie Gordon is probably the best returning running back in college football, and he's a huge player to have back for Oklahoma State. And wouldn't it be a story if Mike Gundy led Oklahoma State to a national championship after 20 years at Oklahoma State? I would definitely be surprised if that happened. But there's always a slight possibility something crazy like that could happen within the next five years. And Mike Gundy is a veteran, so you never know. The next team is Ole Miss, and I have them in the I wouldn't be surprised category. Lane Kiffin has become the king of the transfer portal, and Ole Miss could possibly be in the conversation to win a natty as soon as next season. The roster adds many big pieces on the defensive side like Walter Nolan from Texas A&M and Prince Lee Yu from Florida. And the offense is also going to be scary with Jackson Dart and those weapons he has. So call me crazy, but I wouldn't be surprised if Ole Miss won a national title as soon as next season. And that would really open the door for a new era of college football. The next team is Oregon, and I have them in the top contenders category. Dan Lanning is one of the fastest rising head coaches in college football. They had an incredible offseason signing a top five transfer portal and recruiting class, and they return a lot of production from last season. They came up short in the Pac-12 championship last season, but this is a team on the rise, and they are definitely a top contender to win a national championship within the next five years. The next team is Oregon State, and I have them in the no chance category. They probably would have been higher in my rankings last season, but they have been completely buried by conference realignment, and they lost their head coach and a bunch of talent. It's unfortunate, but there's absolutely no way Oregon State wins a national championship within the next five years. The next team is Penn State, and I have them in the dark horse contenders category. By default, Penn State is always going to be a dark horse to win a national championship because they are always a very good team. They just can't get over that hump and win the Big Ten, so I can't put them any higher than Dark Horse Contender. The next team is Pitt, and I have them in the no chance category. The offense has a lot to clean up, and they are coming off a very bad season, and I really don't see Pitt having a quick turnaround, so they have no chance. The next team is Purdue, and I also have them in the no chance category. They were very bad last season, and they lost some of their top stars to the portal like receiver Dion Burks. Purdue needs to make a bowl game before thinking about their chances of a national championship. The next team is Rutgers, and I have them in the they would need a miracle category. 
Rutgers doesn't use the transfer portal or recruit at a high level, but they are actually one of the better teams in the Big Ten right now, and they have a solid head coach and return a lot of production from last season. They are close to being in the no chance category because of their lack of talent and the fact that they have not had a lot of success in the Big Ten. But this is a team that could potentially be a sleeper, so I have them in the they would need a miracle category. The next team is SMU, and I also have them in the they would need a miracle category. I have them closer to the top because SMU is a bright future in the ACC, and they are located in a perfect spot for recruiting, and they also have good NIL money. SMU is a team that could shock a lot of people and become a top program in 10 years. But I don't see them making a huge impact in the span of 5 years, and that is why I only have them in the They Would Need a Miracle category. The next team is South Carolina, and I have them in the They Would Need a Miracle category. South Carolina took a step down and only won 5 games in 2023, but I think this team still has potential moving forward with head coach Shane Beamer. They have a solid transfer portal group, and Lenore Sellers is an under-the-radar quarterback. This is a team that I could see being a surprise, but I could also see them completely disappointing. I have my questions with this team, so I do have them in the they would need a miracle category. The next team is Stanford, and I have them in the no chance category. I have them closer to the top, but they just aren't the same team anymore, and they've went 3-9 three, three years in a row now. They've done a solid job recruiting, but they are in rebuild mode, and they have no chance at a national championship anytime soon. The next team is Syracuse and I have them in the They Would Need a Miracle category. They have been a very average program in the ACC, but Fran Brown was a very solid hire at head coach, and Syracuse has done a very good job in the portal, and they are an ACC sleeper. But they would definitely still need a miracle to win a natty within the next five years. The next team is TCU, and I have them in the They Would Need a Miracle category. If they repeat everything they did from 2022 within the next five years, then they have a legit shot at a national championship. Obviously, this time you have to remember to show up in the biggest game of the season. But jokes aside, I highly doubt Sony Dykes and TCU have another season like that. But you never know. The next team is Tennessee, and I have them in the Dark Horse Contenders category. Tennessee can really be scary if they put it all together. Let's not forget what they did in 2022 with an offense led by Hendon Hooker. Nico Iamaliava has massive potential for Tennessee. So Tennessee is definitely a Dark Horse National Title Contender in my eyes. The next team is Texas, and I have them in the top contenders category. They are very similar to Oregon. They have a head coach on the rise, and this is a team that could win a national championship sooner rather than later. They had a great offseason, and they have two future first-round NFL draft picks at quarterback with Quinn Ewers and Arch Manning. And since they made the playoffs last season, I have them right above Oregon, and they are in the top contenders category for sure. The next team is Texas A&M, and I have them in the I would be surprised category. They are near the top of that category, but I can't put them any higher. Texas A&M hasn't had the greatest amount of success as of lately, and they wasted a lot of talent. But it could be a new era of Texas football heading forward, because I think Mike Elko was one of the best guys they could have hired a head coach, and I think Texas A&M has potential moving forward, and they could possibly sneak their way into the playoffs once or twice. But I would definitely be surprised if they won a natty within the next five years. The next team is Texas Tech and I also have them in the I would be surprised category. They are recruiting at a very high level in the Big 12 right now, and they have a lot of potential moving forward. The offense is going to be very explosive in 2024 with Josh Kelly and five-star freshman Micah Hudson. I could definitely see Texas Tech winning a Big 12 championship within the next five years, and they are a sleeper team right now, but I would definitely be surprised if they won a natty. The next team is UCF, and I have them near the top of the They Would Need a Miracle category. They definitely have adapted to Big 12 football quicker than the other newer teams in the Big 12 from last season. UCF and Texas Tech both recruit at a high level in the conference. I believe they have the number one and number two class for 2024 and 2025. And everything I said about Texas Tech can also be said about UCF. But I think the difference is that UCF still has some catching up to do and they are a new team in the Big 12. So I have them a little bit lower. And I do think they would need a miracle to win a national title anytime soon but they are definitely heading in the right direction. The next team is UCLA, and I have them in the no chance category. They have been average in the Pac-12, and they face a gauntlet in the Big Ten now. And they are a team in rebuild mode after losing Chip Kelly, their defensive coordinator, and five-star quarterback Dante Moore. So they have no chance at winning a natty anytime soon. The next team is USC, and I actually have them in the dark horse contenders category. I understand people think Lincoln Riley is a fraud and USC is doomed because of their defense. 
But people need to understand Lincoln Riley has made massive changes to the defensive coaches staff, and they have one of the most stacked coaches staffs in the country right now. And if you look at that 2025 recruiting class, it is stacked, and they have the third best recruiting class of 2025 right now. They brought in multiple five stars, including defense alignment Justice Terry. Lincoln Riley has a winning track record, and this team should definitely be a dark horse to win a national championship within the next five years, because five years is a lot of time to get that defense cleaned up. The next team is Utah, and I have them in the dark horse contenders category right next to USC. Kyle Winningham is one of the better coaches in college football, and Utah always has a very good defense. All it takes is one year for them to put it all together and go on a surprising run. A lot would have to happen, but they are the odds-on favorite to win the Big 12, and that would put them in the playoffs with the first round bye, which is a big advantage. They came close to making the 14 playoffs, and they won back-to-back Pac-12 championships in 2021 and 2022. And now they have Cam rising back, and the offense is going to be improved. They are definitely a dark horse to win a natty within the next five years. Because Kyle Winningham is one of the best coaches in college football. The next team is Vanderbilt, and I have them in the no chance category. They would be lucky to make a bowl game within the next 20 years. Nothing much needs to be said about Vandy. The next team is Virginia, and I also have them in the no chance category. They have been one of the worst Power 5 teams in college football, so again, nothing much needs to be said about them. The next team is Virginia Tech, and I have them in the They Would Need a Miracle category. I think they are going to be a very solid team next season, and they return basically everybody on that team. Virginia Tech would have to go on some crazy run to win a national championship, so I do have them in the They Would Need a Miracle category, but keep an eye on this team, because they could definitely make some noise in the ACC next season. The next team is Wake Forest, and I have them in the no chance category. I definitely don't see a program like Wake Forest coming anywhere near a natty anytime soon, so they have no chance. The next team is Washington, and I have them in the I would be surprised category. I can't put them any lower than that, because they did just make a national championship, and Jed Fish is now their head coach. He might have been a downgrade from Kalen DeBoer, but he is a good head coach because look at what he did at Arizona. Washington should be a solid team in the Big Ten. They could definitely struggle next season because of all the starters they lost, but Jed Fish will probably keep this team above bowl eligibility, and I wouldn't be surprised if they snuck their way into the playoffs in the next five years, but I would definitely be surprised if they won a natty within the next five years. The next team is Washington State, and I have them in the no chance category. Everything I said about Oregon State could be said about Washington State. They have absolutely no shot at a natty anytime soon. The next team is West Virginia, and I have them in the They Would Need a Miracle category. They had a surprisingly solid 2023 season, but people still have their questions about head coach Neil Brown, and I don't think they have the talent to come anywhere near a natty, so they would definitely need a miracle. This has been a very long video, but we are now to the final team, and the final team is Wisconsin, and I have them in the I Would Be Surprised category. Wisconsin could honestly break out at any point with head coach Luke Fickle and make a run for the playoffs. Wisconsin is usually a very solid football program, and they definitely have potential. Wisconsin and Nebraska are kind of similar teams heading forward in my opinion. They both have a lot of potential and they have good coaching staffs, so I can't put them anywhere lower than the I would be surprised category. But anyways, that is going to do it for today's video. Let me remind you guys to like the video, and also subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications so you never miss an upload. And if you guys love college football, then you'll love this channel because we upload a ton of college football content, and we basically cover everything on this channel. So definitely consider subscribing, and also consider following my socials down in the description below. But that is going to do it, guys, and peace out.